Give us shelter this week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 153, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com get together to talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Tom, but before we get to the infotainment and general good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What did you achieve? I unlocked cat ears in Call of Duty. What? Yeah, it, what? it's Wait, 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 what? <laughs> I, unlocked, I unlocked cat ears. It's a hat with cat ears. Does it do anything? No, it's just uh, a way that you can okay. uh, decorate your character. It was, um, should give you sonar. Yeah, I know, but it's not a thing. So, but yeah, I unlocked cat ears. That's about it. <laughs> All right, uh, sir. What you? What about you? What you achieve? Uh, I was in the Other woods. I was in the children. woods most of the time, so there really wasn't much for video games happening for me. Uh, no, no, absolutely zero. Absolutely zero. Did, did they have an arcade there? They did, but I never get a, got a chance to play anything. Oh. So, uh, because the power was out to it the first couple of days, and then, um, and then I was just really? busy the rest of the time. So, but yeah, I, I witnessed arcade games. Eh, it's good enough. I don't, that counts. All right, Riz, what did you achieve this week? Thank you for calling me on, calling on me. Uh, so, I died in Bloodborne a lot. I got to the. I'm still at the last uh, area in Bloodborne, but I keep dying, which is pretty much. Well, which that's the purpose which of the pretty game. Pretty much right? the purpose of the game <laughs> Bloodborne. Uh, I also uh, decided to dust off my uh, my GTA Five and put, played it online for a few times. And notice that there are a few different, I guess, user-created like maps and games that you can play now, which is pretty cool. Uh, one of them was just a plain old fist fight, <laughs> where it's just Fight Club. Nice. Uh, can't talk about it on this podcast. No. Or anywhere else, for that matter. I didn't say a word. <laughs> uh, and also, there was one where... It was four against five, and you can either be the guys shooting the rockets or the guys riding the armored cars hmm. and killing the guys shooting the rockets. Uh, so it was a fun little time. Uh, and also, I did splurge a little bit. Uh, I got it again in Dorf Amiibo. Oh, from, no. Japan. <laughs> from Japan. From Japan? Only 22 bucks. That's not bad. Wow. Plus two-day shipping. Thank you, Amazon Prime. Uh, other than that, that's about it. Cool. All right, joining us once again, our very special in-studio guest, DJ Lunchbox. What did you achieve this week? Hi, Bobby. Hi. I shot a, rot- a, shot- I shot a rhino with a shotgun. Oh, no. Um, I was attacked by a bald a eagle, and I killed and skinned a family of tapirs and made them into useful pouches. You were playing, you were playing uh, Far Cry, weren't you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll get into that a little bit later. Hmm. All right. <laughs> yes. I hope oh, it I was forgot. a video game, I and forgot you there's no... not a dentist from America that went across <laughs> the shuttle line. <laughs> Topical. <laughs> Yeah. I forgot. No, there's no segment where we just. Yes, I played Far Cry. I've been playing Far Cry. I've wanted it for a while. It finally, <laughs> finally got on sale. Like, Wait, what Stay away from me, Zimbabwe. I forget. I forget how the show's structured. Um, <laughs> what podcast is this? Right, right. Welcome this week, big game hunter. This week battle. on Panel Riot, we're reading X Men: The uh, Animated. Uh, yeah, it was on sale, and uh, it's a lot of fun and an absolutely gorgeous game. Even if it was not a, as good of a game as it is, which it is really, really good, it's also absolutely beautiful. I, I bought it on the Xbox uh, sale when they had it, so I, uh, I played like a little bit of it, but I haven't got back to it yet. It's so much fun. Which, 
uh, which key. leads me to what I played, that, what I achieved this weekend. Um, Lunchbox, I know you play uh, Simpsons Tapped Out, and Chachi, you play Simpsons Tapped Out. Yeah. Um, they started a new thing right after Tap Ball. Oh, did they? Good, because uh, I, yes, I stopped playing when they were playing Tap Ball. It's real estate, uh, and then that you can unlock Cookie Kwan. They, gi- they give her to you for free. Mm. And now there's like all these unlockables you can get, and you have to have the – there's a new whole section to Springfield now. Uh, like it, it was like it's almost like an expansion pack. Um, but like, there's an IKEA furniture, a Starbucks, like knockoff places, a uh, yoga facility. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can unlock a whole bunch of buildings and stuff like that. I'm so addicted to it now. <laughs> I can't help it. Um, also played Street Fighter Four with my cousin this weekend. Uh, a little bit of Pac-Man uh, Championship Edition because I was all teasing all my cousins that we were I was going to take them to see Pixels, which I did oh, not. <laughs> and I played some Forza Five, so that's what I achieved. All right, Chachi, you want to send us around the net? It's now time for video game team thing from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Uh, first up, Dave and Busters has a new arcade game, which is not part of the post. But it is. Uh, it's an eight-foot-long Angry Birds arcade machine. Ooh. Um, so it's eight feet long, and what you do is you launch foam uh, balls at the screen in an attempt to knock down the pigs, just like you would in Angry Birds, but you do all the work now. Hmm. Um, Something like that would be fun. That's no fun. Yeah. Top of the line uh, mechanics and graphics and whatnot. Uh, exclusive to Dave & Buster's until Labor Day. Hmm. Then? So after that, you'll, you should be able to see it in other places. Who knows? Then you could buy your own damn machine. Right. Uh, but for now, it's exclusive to Dave & Buster's. Uh, it almost makes me want to go to Dave & Buster's just to play it, but I don't want to go to Dave & Buster's. The Monroeville Mall has like a mini Dave & Buster's. They have a whole bunch of games that Dave & Buster's have, but they, I discovered that this weekend. Hmm. It's weird. Uh, next up, Flickr user Burdu created a mod for GTA V that turns Trevor into the Joker, and oh. the screenshots are completely amazing. Amazing. Sick. Uh, so I, I linked it over, plus a, a preview of one of the pictures, so you can go over and check it out. Uh, last awesome. but not least, recently I've be- become addicted to a YouTube series called Cinema Sins, uh, where they take <laughs> movies and they record videos. Uh, with a voiceover, pointing out everything wrong with movies, uh, certain movies. Um, and last week they did the Mario Brothers movie. Which is Sin, it sin Against was, Cinema itself. It was 21 minutes long. <laughs> um, and it's hilarious. I watched all 21 minutes of it. Actually, it, you might as well say it's 22 minutes. It's 21 minutes and 54 seconds. Um, and about halfway through... He, he just says, you know what, can someone tell me how this ends? I just shot my TV. <laughs> and, and he keeps going. But uh, it is hilarious, and it needs to be watched. Uh, so go over to insertcoinbegin.com and check out this week's edition of Video Game Theme Things from around the internet. Right to you, Bobby. All right, it's time for some things that you should be made aware of. Uh, today in Japan, uh, J- Japan uh, Square Enix held a media event for Dragon Quest games. It was announced that Dragon Quest Ten and Eleven are in development for the N- Nintendo NX, which is awesome. Uh, and these are the first third-party games that have been announced for uh, development for the Nintendo's new system. Um, Dragon Quest Eleven is also in development for PS4 and 3DS, uh, they also announced a whole bunch of other stuff, but I couldn't tell what it was because it was in Japanese, <laughs> and I, I don't th- have a means of translating. Um, but that th- this uh, begs the differ here. Um, with little we have on the NX, is it good to know that some third-party developers are already on board for developing for the new system? What do you guys think? You know, there are a lot of developers that were on board with the Wii U. They got mm-hmm. Assassin's Creed, they got Batman, they got all kinds of things, and you saw what happens. I think they, they, they're really good about that, and, 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 and they know they can ride the excitement of a new console. You're going to see everybody hop on board here at the beginning, for the most part. Uh, it's uh, what is sustainable, is, is the problem that Nintendo has not been able to prove for the last three consoles. 
So mm -hmm. pretty much just like what Sorg said. Yeah. Uh, they're gonna get the the companies see a new system. They also see big bucks. Because they want their game to be out there with the with the launch date. Mm. They want their game to be there. They want their game to be front and center. And if it's a third party system, it's a third party system. It's a third, I mean, third party company. So why not just you know why not? Also remember, Dragon Quest is a very Japanese game, and this is a very yeah. Japanese company that they're aligning with. So they're they're gonna be okay in Japan. Yeah. In Japan. Right. It, and it's been around for centuries. <laughs> if video games could be around that long. Um, I, I, I'm partial to slime. I like this little slime mascot they have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I, And I like, I like how Dragon Quest can take all their things and put them in different games, you know. Um, they announced a couple 3DS games that are coming out. Uh, they announced... Uh, like a, a almost like a Minecraft version of, of Dragon Quest as well, um, and it looked like a Dragon Quest Eight movie, which kind of looked like cosplay. I don't know if it was a movie or not, but it made, I was like really excited, even though it's not probably going to come over here. But Dragon Quest Eight's one of my favorite uh, games, so that made me a little bit excited. Awesome. All right. Okay, moving on here, uh, we got some uh, DLC news again. <laughs> Uh, soon you'll finally be able to steal and assassinate your way through Tamriel and the Elder Scrolls Online. It was announced uh, via two expansion packs coming in 2016 to the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, they will be adding the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood to the game for the first time. Uh, first, all, first um, the, they're going to add the Imperial City. Uh, it will be added next quarter to the game. Uh, and also the Orcish city of Orsinium is going to be added in the fourth quarter of 2015. Uh, the first two quarters of 2016 will introduce the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood. So you're not going to get them until next year, but uh, you can be patient. Um, they've been missing from the Elder Scrolls games, or the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, they've been missing since the game's launch. That being said... Uh, should DLC content only be relegated to new land sections in a game, or is it okay to add factions via DLC to games where they could have been in, in the game from the start? Like, I think they could have had these two factions in the game from the start. But it is nice to have that little bit that you can add to the game. What do you guys think? Eh. Uh, from, from the guy who has Elder Scrolls Online, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, first of all, I'm thrilled that we're, we're going to get some new, new stuff to do. Uh, but to go into your question, this reminds me of like all oh, the Mass Effect multiplayer. They announced new characters monthly, almost. Mm -hmm. It seemed like month monthly new characters. Either it's like an engineer or a Turian or something like that, and it was just it, it got it got kind of convoluted in a, for a while. But I did like the new characters that they had they came out with uh i think we had this conversation with the uh dlc question last week where we were talking about do we prefer new characters in fighting games or 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 the regular characters and <laughs> it's some it, and it, to get me to play a to download a game it's going to have to be something that i know like something that someone that I know has to be in this game, like, and and it's fine to have this the the guilds in there too. I'm 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 all for the guilds, but I I I, I can't wait for it because I have it. Mm -hmm. If they add them, like, you know how in the in Skyrim, say for instance, mm -hmm. you get to a town that town has that guild in it. Maybe if they do it like that, which they may do, it might work out better for that for that reason. Um, I I don't know. Well, and mostly they probably have level restrictions. Mm -hmm. Like you're not just going to go, okay, I'm going to I'm going to be a, I'm just going to start my game now, and then just go be a thief. Like they'll make you work for it. It's not like it's going to be there front and center for you to take. Oh, yeah, there's definitely missions and stuff you have to get mm -hmm. there. 
Do you guys have anything to add to this? No, no, I, but I, I like I like that when it's a supportive thing like this. Yeah, I, I don't completely the Elder Scrolls situation, but uh, you know, some of this stuff could have been uh, uh, spaced out just to sell it to you later. Uh, to mm-hmm. make more money, or even just they need more time to level up. It was the classes that they're adding. I mean, that's that's something that you you can add on later, but you need to balance it first, right? Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. just like adding new characters, not just adding um, new. I mean, any asset takes time. So just say, okay, we need this stuff done for release, and then we'll have time afterwards to work on this, or you know, just like Call of Duty, we have time to work on these maps now, right? After we're done with that mm-hmm. main release. So I, I I think it could be a little bit of both. And and one one kind of washes the other's hands on this one, you know. Also, with something like an MMO, you have to have additional DLC like this. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It extends the lifeblood of the game, um, and you know it gives people more to do once they get comfortable in running around in that world. It's something new. It's like uh, it's like buying a new couch for your house. You put a new couch in your living room, new TV. Suddenly, you feel like you have a new uh, a new whole new house. And you want to spend more time in there. It's mm-hmm. the same with uh, DLC in uh, MMOs. Right. Well, you think it'd be, it's part of the Outer Scrolls lore that the Dark Brotherhood's out there and that the Thieves Guild's out there. You think they would have included like at least that in the beginning of the game where you could maybe go on a quest to become that? I don't know. I just, just a thought. Yeah, yeah. So, Never know. They want to stretch out your dollar as much as they can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's all it is. Because it's, it's, it's pretty much a free-to-play game anyways. Yeah. So, well, you have to uh, buy the game. Then what yeah. are we complaining about? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I got to buy put, the game first. I got to put some money into this. You know, I, yeah, no, 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 no. He's exactly right. And, and if you're buying into something like this, you're going to be ready to buy into something like this. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yep. All right. Uh, Fallout Shelter is coming out on Android on August 13th, finally. Uh, not only that, well, the, the game will also feature a ton of updates for both Android and iOS users. Uh, the updates will come to the game for both Android and iOS users on August, 8, on, on August 13th. And it will come out following new features such as enemies to fight, like Deathclaw, which will be much harder to kill than other enemies in the game. Uh, new rewards, like Mr. Handy. Uh, who can go through your vault, uh, fight, and collect resources for, resources for you, and also uh, be sent out to the wasteland himself. Um, are you guys excited that Fallout Shelters will have new content and finally be available for Android users coming soon? Yes. I'm over the moon excited about this. Good for Android I'm, people. Mm-hmm. I am not. Uh, if I wanted to play the game, I'd play Tiny Tower. Um, don't really care. Uh, I, I've never played a Fallout game. So, uh, wow. uh, it's cool. I, I'm always, let me, let me state though, I'm always happy when Android gets fair treatment like everyone mm-hmm. else does. Mm-hmm. So, yes, in that, in that state, I'm cool. Well, but technically, technically they didn't really get fair treatment. They're getting it, which is fair treatment. <laughs> That's well, true. And this probably will unlock some stuff in Fallout 4, I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Uh, which which they also said today that the version that they showed at E3 was pretty much done. Yeah. Wow. And it's it's almost ready to come out. They really it's kept it under wraps for a while then, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. And and nobody knew about this game really. I mean, it was hinted at that it was coming out, but they didn't show anything from it till E3 this year. And like to show like almost be almost finished with the game without anybody knowing is like good on them, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like very rare to do that nowadays. Certainly. I already have mine pre-ordered. <laughs> Will you have anything on this? Um, I saw it. it. looks like a really interesting, fun game, but I um, I didn't play it because I can't I can't make myself play another game that requires hourly upkeep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I've got yeah. Simpsons yeah. tapped Simpsons out, enough. and I've got cats. cats collected, and that covers it. Yeah. I, I just can't do much more. And, I, and <laughs> on top of that... I, this isn't a franchise that's really grabbed me. I have played uh, Fallout games in the past, but I never really got hooked the way that a lot of people have. So um, this game didn't hold a lot of appeal for me. Hey, Riz. Oh. Yes? Did you order the Pit Boy edition? Nope. Too late now. <laughs> they can't make any more. <laughs> well, that's what I was just going to mention. Yeah. They can't make any more of that either. So. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't buy the Pitbull edition because that, that's a lot of money. 
But you know what they can make more of, Sorg? Mmm, delicious, delicious mm -hmm. pizza. And as we were saying before with LB here, it's all about the mouthfeel. And that's what Slice on Broadway is good at. Right, LB? Damn straight. Delicious, wonderful, perfectly chewy cheese. Uh, they get it right over at Slice on Broadway. Awesome. Go check them out. SliceOnBroadway.com. They support the show with uh, Perfect Pepperoni Pizza, supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting. And, uh, and they're in the South Hills here in P Beachview, as well as uh, Main Street down at Carnegie, PA. Go check them out. SliceOnBroadway.com. PGH underscore Slice on the Twitters, as well as uh, on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, I'd love to know if you heard about them on the Boss Bounce. Chachi Plays for Kids is coming back again. The 24-hour game thon for youth arts programs in Pittsburgh. August 7th and 8th at the Tunesium or join us live chachiplays.com find out how you can make a difference too and donate today chachiplays.com up down down left right left right BA BA start yeah alright let's get into this final round question here uh, the Street Fighter beta was released this week, and it went uh, the opposite of good. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, so much so that Capcom has now pulled the plug on the beta until uh, the quote-unquote experience is going to be a positive one for players. Uh, in a statement released by Capcom, they said, Capcom offers its sincerest apologies to everyone who participated in the first beta test. While the purpose of a beta is to work out the types, these types of issues, it was very clear that the issues we faced were more severe than we were prepared for. All right. Uh, keep in mind, though, this was just a beta, and it's not actually the release game. <laughs> uh, so that being said, the final round question is, should Capcom have to apologize for their beta software not performing up to uh, standards? Going to go around the horn? Who wants to go first? It's a beta! Uh, it's a beta! <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Don't get mad because right. the beta didn't work. We're, we're getting too spoiled by these things, guys. Uh, sorry. No, that's exactly what I was going to say yeah. in the infliction that I was going to say it in. It's <laughs> a beta. I don't know why they're apologizing. Hey, 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 Chachi, do you remember when we were playing uh, Destiny, the Destiny beta? Yeah. And how convoluted that shit was? Yeah. I heard there were wizards on the moon. There were. were. <laughs> but I there mean, were you, you can't get mad at something not working in a beta mm -hmm. because that's exactly what beta testing is for. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, Sorg is right. These little bitches are spoiled. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> I agree that you really shouldn't complain uh, about, you know, a beta not working properly. But on the flip side of that, Capcom knew they were going to release something for public consumption it should have been more polished than it was because out the gate, the first impression for a lot of people of street fighter five is that it doesn't work properly. At least they didn't pull Warner brothers and release the full game before anybody played it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you know, my history lately with Capcom and I, 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 I wanted to laugh at this, but I couldn't because you know, it was just a beta, whatever. I'm fine with it. All right, anybody else have anything to add to that? Nope. It's a beta! <laughs> it is just a beta. I mean, you know, hey, okay, okay. Uh, for context, uh, technical, preview, technical preview of Windows 10 has been happening for a while now. There's a public beta right now for Windows... Uh, I'm sorry, Mac OS X for the... Uh, can't remember what it is. Uh, Ky Caliente? No, that's not right. Whatever. Caliente. El Capitan? I, oh, El Capitan. That's the one. You know, and... Uh, and, 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 and it's very recommended. Don't do this if it's your main computer, right? I, I know mm. video games aren't as vital with that, other than can I play the thing? Uh, but but still, it, it's just I think we're just people don't understand the process and that they are part of a test and they're looking for problems and 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 obviously they got slammed by the number of beta people. What did they, was it just down? It it was not working entirely well. Yeah, I don't no, think the, the game didn't work. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, um, but we're we're all a bunch of petulant children when it comes to our video games, and I want it now, now, now. Right. We said I can have it. Why can't I have it, mommy? Right. Pretty much. So. Well, good thing on on them for doing the beta test, mm -hmm. because now they can go back and fix it. And like 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 you said, Bobby, uh, some games haven't had the, the privilege of doing that 
which is you know Arkham Knight. Sat- which shower, which shower remain nameless. <laughs> yeah, which uh, I haven't been on the show for a while, and I'm still upset about uh, uh, Arkham Knight because yeah. I'm a PC guy, and PC I still can't guy. play it. I still mm-hmm. can't play it. Did you buy it? No. Okay. Because I can't <laughs> play it. You know why? Because it's not for sale, Sorg. Oh. It is not for sale. You can't buy it for PC. <laughs> they stopped all sales because it didn't work. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's that's sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's very frustrating. But it is that's, very sad. That's a different console. But um, and there were only like four or five fighters in, in Street Fighter Five, anyways, that were ready. So, whatever. You didn't have the full game, so it was like a, a, a killer instinct where you can only use one at a time, <laughs> unless you pay for the whole game. All right, that's going to do it for us this week. You can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can hit us up at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night on Live.SorgatronMedia.com at 8 o'clock. Sorg, you got anything to plug this week? Oh, check out all the things, of course. Uh, uh, Sorgatron.com for the uh, LB and the Sorg uh, morning afternoon power hour. We talk about a lot of different things, very positive uh, loot crate. My wife did a loot crate video since I was out of town. Go check that out. It's our coin to begin.com to check out what all came there. Uh, by the way, loot crate, very popular at the gathering of the juggalos. Seeing a lot nice. of the shirts, seeing a lot of the glasses, seeing a lot of the stuff, uh, all over the place. A lot of them are buying into that thing. Like, Hey, they're all geeks over there too. So, uh, and, uh, just check out everything, all the cool stuff going on. Sorgatronmedia.com and, uh, Chachi, I know you got something. Chachi, you got to go. <laughs> mm-hmm. that, look at that reveal. <laughs> Chachi, Chachi, play a uh, Raising money for uh, underprivileged art programs in the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, as a gamer or a game enthusiast or a music enthusiast, you should appreciate what I'm trying to do here and give us money to give back to the art community. Mm-hmm. Uh, ChachiPlays.com. Uh, the first day, August 7th, which is a Friday, at 8 p.m., we have a Tetris tournament. Uh, the next day at 2 p.m., we have a Mario Kart tournament. <coughs> mm-hmm. uh, tournaments are $25 each uh, for an entry. Uh, yes. Or you can pay 50 and get an entire hour. We play the game of your choice. Uh, you're, you're forgetting who the defending, reigning champion is <laughs> in Mario Kart. I don't have to defend my title this year. No, so, I should make you defend it. Oh. Um, the, the person, the person. <laughs> we can't. The game's broken. No, you heard it, them. The the, the pe- person that uh, you beat to win uh, the championship belt it will be there uh, yeah, for the true. entire twenty four hours of Chachi plays. That is true. Oh, that is true. She, she is our liaison of Chachi plays. We should, plays we should get her. We should get her. We should get her a money in the bank briefcase when she can cash in at any time. <laughs> uh, she, uh, hey Bobby, she, I'm defending my title. You have to defend <laughs> yours. She said that uh, she is thinking about bringing her TV and her PlayStation Four nice. and playing Dragon Age the entire time. Nice. There you go. We'll, we'll see what happens. But yeah. Uh, so go over to ChachiPlays.com. Even if you don't want to play games, you do not have to play games. Uh, we're working on different uh, types of entertainment for uh, the event this year. Um, oh, for quick, you to come down and enjoy. Or you can just give us money. Uh, I mean, ultimately, I want you to go to ChachiPlays.com and, and give me some of your hard-earned money to give the people who could really use it. All right. Uh, Riz, you, you got you got anything to plug, Riz? Uh, Riz plays games. Uh, follow me on Twitch at Riz IUP. Uh, there, I actually try to do something that I shouldn't have done. I spent about 30 minutes. No, wait, not even 30 minutes. An hour, maybe an hour and a half. Just trying to go from 1 to 30 in the Royal Rumble in WWE 2K15. With the great Kali. Oh boy. That is I, I almost had it once. <laughs> once. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably going to try to do that again and then post that on the YouTubes. So check it out. All right. And Lunchbox, you have something to post or ch- something to plug? I do. I do. If you head uh, on you over do. to panelriot.com, uh, that That's is. That's right, Bobby. DJ Lunchbox wants to plug ChachiPlays.com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'm sorry. Go ahead. I couldn't resist. Listen, if you think I'm not entering that Tetris tournament and getting second place for the third year in a row, <laughs> that's a given. Uh, no, if you go over to PanoRiot.com, that is the home of uh, my other podcast. We talk about comic books, post a lot of comic book art and everything like that. That is our skull-shaped secret home base, uh, PanoRiot.com. You can listen to episodes. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Sorg was giving me a look. Um, you can listen to uh, episodes, past episodes. Um, you can donate to the cause. You can email us, panelriot at gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter at panelriot, at DJ Lunchbox, and of course, at Intern Stan. Uh, Where's Intern Stan, by the way? Intern Stan will... is high. Oh. I'm on vacation, and so is he. So <laughs> he has not <laughs> left my bathroom, and it smells. Oh, remember last year he was in my trunk for a while? Yes. What yes. happened about that? I have no idea. He does Can what he wants. Trouble? I have Things very little control over that young man. <laughs> we, can't, we have no control of. No control. All over. right, and you can follow me at, at Bobby F. Jayton. I also am going to plug Chachi Plays, so go there and donate. Hit the donate button and actually donate money. All right, that's going to do it for us, guys. Game over. Game over, yeah! This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.